What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Addict, and welcome to another JavaScript Nuggets video. And in today's video, we're going to cover optional chaining, which essentially offers more straightforward syntax for working with deeply nested properties. So imagine this scenario, you have an array inside of the array, you have some objects, and then each object represents a person. Now person has name property, has location property. But the gotcha here is that location property is an object itself. And inside of it, we have a time zone property, which again is an object. And in there we have the offset one. And what's even more interesting that not all of the objects have this property, the time zone one. So the second one has the location, but doesn't have the time zone. So what do you do when you're iterating over the list and you want to access the offset one? Because the problem is that if you'll try to access the offset one on the second one, you'll get a big fat error. And this is exactly where the optional chaining comes in handy. And if you're wondering about the structure, whether that is something that you might see in real life, I actually got this one from the random user API. So if you're not familiar with this API, this just returns a random user. And this is the URL that they use. And notice the structure, how they send back the data. And essentially, I just took it and added to our example. Now, I didn't want to set up the fetch. That seemed like a waste of our time. Let's just imagine that we fetch this data and we want to do something with it. Now, of course, normally you would iterate over and then you would want to display something on a screen. In our case, I just want to see what happens as I'm iterating over the list when I try to get this offset one. And what are the solutions for the error that is coming up? And essentially, I want to start with for each. So let's go here with, I guess, people. And then we're going to go with for each. I want to iterate over the list. And I'll just say that each object is going to have a person parameter. So this represents, of course, my object. And let's just start very simply by going with console log. And we're looking for person and name. And this shouldn't be surprised that everything works, correct? Because, of course, we do have this property. We have the name property, so we are in good shape. But now let's make things a bit more interesting where I'm going to copy and paste and I'll comment this one out. And we're going to go with person. Then we're looking for location. Now, if I'll try to access the street, I should be in good shape, correct? But what if I directly want to go for my offset one? So I'm going to go with my time zone and then I'm going to go with offset. And essentially, I right away get a error. And the reason for this error is simply because we're trying to access a property on undefined. Because for the second object, time zone property, the object is actually undefined because it is not there. And I'm trying to access the offset property on that object. And JavaScript is like, hey, listen, I don't have access to that object. That object doesn't exist. And you're trying to get the property of that object. And what's even more interesting, that notice how our program doesn't run till the end. So we stop at the second one because we have this error. And previously, before the optional chaining, our solution was following, where we needed to use the AND operator. And if you remember, with AND operator, the setup is following. If the first value is true, then it's going to check, well, what is the value for the second one? So if we'll go with true, and then we're going to go with our and operator. And if I'm going to say hello world, since my first value is true, and as I said, I just need to comment this one out. Notice here in the console, I have the hello world. Why? Well, because this one is true. And then it checks whatever is the second value. And if I'll copy and paste, and of course, if I'm going to go with false, and then hello people, do you think the people will be in a console? or it's going to be false. And of course, the answer is false, because if this is false, then it right away just returns the first value. And the way around this problem that we have right now with our error is just using this and operator. At least that was before we have the optional chaining. So let's try to set up with and operator, and then we'll take a look at finally the optional chaining. So I'm going to go back here where I have my second console log. And the idea is following where I want to go with 
person location. I want to check whether that object exists like so. And then I need to go with person location. And then I'm looking for the time zone. So now I'm checking for that object. And then finally, if that one exists, then I want to go with person, then location, time zone, time zone, and then of course, the offset property. And by doing so notice, now I can access the first value and the third value, because of course, both of these ones have some kind of value in a time zone, correct? They do have the object and they do have the offset property. Now for the second one, we just get undefined, but at least our application doesn't break. So finally, the optional chaining just offers us a better syntax, where essentially I can comment this one out just so it stays for your reference. And we can simply go with person, then we go with this question mark, and then that. And we can continue with location, again, question mark, and then that. And then of course, the time zone, again, question mark, and then the dot. And hopefully you get the gist where we can go with the offset one. So once I save, notice how again, we don't have the error, we just get back on the fine, and our application doesn't break. And essentially, we just say here, hey, check for the person. If it's there, then keep checking for location, same for time zone, and eventually for the offset. Now, if at any point, this is going to be undefined, then it just returns undefined. But the good news is it doesn't throw that error. So it doesn't stop the application from running. And finally, if, for example, you don't want to have that undefined, you simply either here, where we were using the and operator, or in line 20, when we use the optional chaining, you can add the or operator. And essentially here, you're just setting up some kind of default value. And in here, I'm just going to go with pretty typical hello world. And you'll notice where I have the undefined. Now I have the default value, the hello world. Hopefully everything was clear. And now you know how you can use optional chaining in JavaScript.